Hi, this is Dima Navi and our son Uriah. For those who don't know us, we live in the Philippines on the island of Negros, at the very top of dangerous volcano, right here. Just kidding. Actually, a little lower, about a thousand meters lower, and the volcano is actually dormant. Sweet dreams, volcano. So, recently we bought a plot of land almost in the jungle, built a tiny frame house and are now selling in here. We haven't published new videos for more than 200 days, so let's briefly go over what has happened during this time. And one of the biggest projects we've done during this time is our garage. Well, it's not really a garage, but a concrete parking platform with a roof. I will show throughout nice. this video how it was built. Yurchi gets great satisfaction from watching the construction process. And here we left our mark in the history of our plot. This is me, this is Baka, this is Yuri, and this is Dimitri. Nice to meet you all. Suddenly, the neighbors called us over to show what they caught near our plot. I never figured out if the snake is dangerous or not. But it looks quite nasty. By the way, we accidentally made a sticker of the snake in iMessage and now send it to each other with Navi when we are bored. Wow, very nice! Can I ride, Papa? We also bought Yuri his first real bike. You need to put on your helmet! But it turned out that kids at 2.5 years old can't ride a bike yet. By the way, our son is 2.5 years old here, and by the end of the video, he will be all. Oops, accidentally showed a spoiler. What happened to Yuri will also be in the video later. <laughs> Riding in a cart was much more fun, by the way. Wow! <laughs> Damn! Be ready to do that the whole day! He won't go down anymore! <laughs> Notice what the grass looks like here. By the end of this video, it won't look like this anymore. But again, we ask you not to jump ahead. Notice that the seeds we throw away in the trash sprouted randomly in the soil where we buried our food waste. Dimitri decided to keep the sprouts and transplant them. I planted the mango closer to the house for now to observe it grows. Wow, Dima, it's so big! Haha, <laughs> this is not the limit. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's Photoshop, to be honest, not the real mango. We woke up very early because we decided to leave. Good morning, my love! A ticket to Sikihor Island! We are going to Sikihor Island today. We bought a ferry ticket to the island of Sikihor and our ferry is only in an hour. So while we have time, we stop by Starbucks for coffee and a snack before leaving. We are traveling with our friend Evgeny and his friend Taz, who came to the Philippines on vacation. The weather is perfect for traveling and it seems like nothing is going to go wrong and that we will be stuck on this island for several days due to typhoon, no one suspects yet. Hi! Are you going to Sikihor? And here we are on the ferry. No turning back now.
Why are you so grumpy? Why? What's the matter? Right off the ferry, we decided to visit a few famous and popular local spots. Sikihor is known for its mystical origins. Here, you can meet witches, healers, you can even buy a love potion right here. But we don't need it. We just want to look at the amazing tree and dip our feet in the pond with fish. Put your feet, your chin. Put your feet down. Wow, that's a big one. Yurchik didn't really like the idea, and for some reason, the small fish beat me quite painfully right on the wound I had on my foot. It's just kissing your feet to welcome you here. It's saying, welcome Yuri, can I kiss your feet? <laughs> ah, look! <laughs> look Yuri, so big! Look. But Yurchik was more intrigued by the bigger fish, oh, although they bite scary. much more so gently. <laughs> Then we came to the waterfalls, which are located in cascades. I thought about jumping here, but for some reason, they seemed not so high before, so maybe another time. Let's go to a smaller cascade, where Yurchik can swim. And here he really enjoyed swimming and didn't want to leave. This is how cool they filmed us from this swing. Yes, for a small donation, they will film me on this raft or your jumps on the higher waterfall. This is called the drone effect in the Philippines, or rather a human drone. This way! Well, to it's time to check in to the resort. Yuri, this way! Yuri. Okay, here we go to Uncle Eugene. <laughs> your chick will sleep there with you. After checking into the hotel, we decided to go to the local marine sanctuary and do some free diving here to see the local underwater world. As it turned out, the beach here is also very beautiful, with white sand. In the meantime, Yuri and Navi were building a sand castle. Good morning, Mama. <laughs> Good morning, Mama. 
The next day, weather started to turn gloomy, and we decided to go to a butterfly sanctuary somewhere in the mountains. I accidentally found this place on Google Maps. 100 pesos entrance. Bye bye. Ah, they have strawberries here. Yeah, it's also fogging here. I think we can grow this in our lot. We can try to grow also strawberries. We'll try to grow grapes. Hello. Maayong buntag. Wow, that's a big one. Oh, another one. Wow, wow. We wanted to buy ferry tickets, but as it turns out, due to the impending typhoon, all ferries were cancelled and we had to stay in Sikihor for an indefinite time. Luckily, our hotel was available and we could continue staying in it. We contacted our helper and neighbor, Lenlen, Len, via our other camera and saw that a typhoon was already happening there and our trees were swaying heavily. A rainy weather started, and to avoid sitting in the room, we decided to go to a cafe with a viewpoint in the mountains. It's good that we were in a car, because riding a bike in such weather is very uncomfortable. Of course we didn't see beautiful views due to the impending typhoon, but we still had a soulful time, had lunch and drank coffee. What could be better than hot coffee or cocoa in such weather. We love when it rains, especially when you're in a warm place or in a car. The rain became very heavy and it started blowing on us, so we were offered to sit inside. Let's go back to our hotel. So foggy! Ah, so windy, let's go! <laughs> Good morning, my baby. Beauty, we're going home today. Yeah. Are you happy? We're going home back to Baka. Do you miss our Baka? After a day, we were informed from the port that we could go home today. And the first ferry trip would be made after the two-day typhoon threat. We gladly agreed to take this first ferry at 5 a.m. and set off for home. The weather at home was good. Baka was happy that we returned and we were glad to finally be home. A package arrived, probably a cover for the car. So until the garage is done, it will look like this. Oops. It's not working like this. Maybe I need to throw it and pack. <laughs> Just kidding. It was edited. What happened next? You what? <laughs> Mostly everything was as usual. We grew some seedlings, baked bread occasionally. And I made a weird concrete flower bed. There. It was my first time mixing cement, by the way. But from the drone, it looks not so bad. Better not to look closely. Yay! Yeah, you need shower. You like it? Do you like playing here? After hard work, ours. What could be better than a delicious coconut? Dimitri prefers to just drink it fresh and also eat the bowl. I like to make a drink with condensed milk, coconut, and ice. Coconut water, coconut meat, and water with condensed milk. You really drink just condensed milk? You know it's yummy when after you try it, you dance. <laughs> it's 
and it's more yummy or it's yummy because you dance you know a food is yummy if some if after you try you dance right away mm -hmm. <laughs> like yummy food make you dance mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just sat with our drinks in the meantime the dough was ready for baking. What? 30 minutes nothing in bake dito. And I could prepare a simple dinner. Chicken with vegetables. And just in time for Dina, the bread could be taken out. First, take a couple of Instagram photos. Perfect. Mmm, very tasty. Crunchy, fresh bread. In the morning, I checked the road because the construction company that built our house and is building our car parking is so willing the road for easier access to our plot and made a small bridge to even out the slope. Such an opening, just in case there is too much water from the rain. Not sure if it will ever be needed, but let's not guess. Hello, madlang people, mabuhay! Also, we bought and assembled a bed. We had been sleeping on a mattress since moving into the new house. Now our bedroom was transformed. Dimitri also installed blinds, which gave the room more cousiness and privacy in the evenings. Now when lying on the bed, you can just see what's happening outside and enjoy a beautiful view of the palm trees. We also went to the island of Cebu by car to submit fingerprints in Cebu City and have an interview to obtain permanent residency for me in the Philippines through marriage. So we're here at the immigration guys, outside immigration. The road to Cebu City is not the closest, so to justify the trip, we decided to rent some interesting Airbnb in the surroundings and we found such a cute cabin where we stayed for the night. This is what it looks like inside. There are two floors, or rather the second floor is an attic. The space is very small but cozy and everything is specially made for Instagram photos and videos. So this place is more for photo shoots than for real living. Jump! Jump! Sobrang saya ng bata. At least, sobrang na-enjoy si Yuri dito. Sobrang nag-i-enjoy si Yuri sa swimming pool. Solong-solo niya. It was an unusual experience that we liked. For the first time, we made marshmallow on fire. And in the morning, we were served breakfast in the pool, but since we were already packing up and dressed, we just ate by the pool and, and it was quite cool and chilly in the morning. Another big! Dog, dog, dog. On the way back, we also saw a safari zoo and stopped by to see the animals. Yurchik was at an age when he became interested in this and we did not regret it at all. Let me briefly show you who we saw there.
after the zoo, we returned home. The journey home took almost the entire day. When we got back, we found that our parking area was finished, complete with a roof and insulation to keep it from overheating. I plan to set up a table and chairs in the garage, so I can sometimes work there. We also installed electricity, outlets and lighting. Now it's multifunction space where we store things, park the car and bike, sometimes work, have meals or even watch movies. Navi continues to develop her garden. She moved it behind our main fence, but it's still our property. And now she's setting up a new area that will soon be unrecognizable. We tried our first harvest of tomatoes. They were sweet but a bit tough, possibly not fully ripe yet. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Find, find there are also a few here. surprises for me in this video, and here's the first one. <laughs> We named them Sunny Side Up and okay, Scramble, right. as we expect from fresh eggs from them. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Female and male chicken. <laughs> this is their house now, yeah? No. <laughs> Just bring right away. Just touch it though, don't be scared. We will make for them coop guys soon. We're gonna use this. And our bamboo fence. Magandang umaga, guys! Ayan ang ating birthday boy. Birthday ni Dimitri ngayong araw. 34 years old na siya. How old are you, Dimitri? 44. <laughs> 34? <laughs> 44. <laughs> now, now you forgot how old are you. I said 34. You didn't hear me. Yeah. You like your birthday breakfast? Very beautiful, yeah. On March 22nd, it was my birthday, and Navi was the first to congratulate me. More success in your business, your job, and what else? Um, we all of your heart's desire will come true. Always be you. Love you! Wow! <laughs> Happy birthday! No, that's not from from me. Ah, uh, not from you. Not from me. <laughs> Who do you think it's from? They wanted to surprise you. They asked for you for our address. I know about. They're gonna send this. I also received Try a surprise gift. Who a sent beautiful this? cake shaped like a camera from the team working on my online course <laughs> about editing, filming, and YouTube. <laughs> We invited friends over, had a barbecue and enjoyed the lunch together. In the evening, we hosted a movie screening in our new garage for the kids. At 3 a.m. we got up to leave. We had coffee at home and planned to have breakfast at the airport. This my one is broken. Not broken? Too fast, look! This trip was notable because it was Yuri's first conscious flight on an airplane and he was very excited to take off. Now we occupy all three sets on the plane and Yuri needs a ticket just like an adult. Are you happy? Hold the sideways. 
Yes. This time we flew to Manila, the capital of the Philippines, and checked into our Airbnb apartment. We came here for some business, such as renewing Dimitri's passport. We had time to visit the ocean park, which your chick enjoyed. Our apartment was on the 50th floor, offering stunning views of the city. We explored Makati, BGC and other areas. After submitting my documents at the embassy, we decided to visit Baguio, a city in the mountains at 1500 meters. We rented a car and set off with friends. Which one? Making a stop along the way to see some German Shepherd puppies, as I'm looking to get one. Uh, this is mama, yeah? No, no. Ah, this? Mama. This mama? Yeah. Ah. Hello. Oh. When we arrived in Baguio, it was already dark, but in the morning we saw amazing views from the veranda of our rented house. The house had a spacious living room combined with a kitchen two bedrooms and a large bathroom. The temperature was 19 degrees Celsius, which is quite cool for the Philippines. We ordered delivery for dinner since it was too late to go out and we were tired from the long drive. The next morning I enjoyed the view. We visited several interesting places, rode a tricycle and a boat in the park. and also went to a strawberry farm, which is quite unusual for the Philippines. I had what seemed like the biggest burger of my life. And the next day we headed home. The usual road was under repair, so we took a detour. Upon returning home, we saw our dog Baka waiting for us on the road. Our neighbor said she had been there all the time, missing us. Baka miss us so much. Journey, you also miss us? Okay, enough, Baka. Please, let us go. The grass had turned yellow due to the drought, and there were water issues. So we started getting up at 5 a.m. to water our garden. Yurchik missed his friends and shared stories about his airplane flight with everyone. We continued our search for German Shepherd puppy. <laughs> and started planning our next project building another room and extending the veranda. It's your room or my room? It's mine. It's mine. Huh? Mine? He's saying always it's my room. It's my room. <laughs> it's my room, Mama. <laughs> it's your room. You will sleep here? Yeah. It's your room? <laughs> He said it's not finished yet. <laughs> I thought it's finished. <laughs> My childhood friend also visited and we showed him around. 
letting him try the local food. His reaction to durian was quite <laughs> something. <laughs> But he enjoyed mango and pineapple much more. Of course, we treated him to our homegrown coconuts. Mm, We also had a jackfruit ripening on one of our trees, and naturally, we immediately took a photo of it. Also, me, our friends Maxim and Eugene completed our diving course together and received our certifications. Unfortunately, not everything went smoothly and we had an accident. On the last day of training, Dimitri got distracted greeting me as I emerged from the water. Yurchik tripped over a step and hit another step with his head, cutting his forehead. We rushed him to the hospital. There was a lot of blood and we were terribly scared. Fortunately, the wound was closed with special glue and there was no need for stitches. Now, the scar looks already very small. Navi's new garden at a new location began to thrive. Cucumbers appeared. And we started laying the foundation and metal frame for the new veranda. My friend Maxim showed us how to cook borscht and even filmed a video about it. We decided to spend a few days on Cibo Island and try some interesting dives. such as swimming with whale sharks in Oslo, visiting Kawasan Falls, diving with sardines in Mau Bow, and exploring a cathedral-like cave on Pescador Island at a depth at 30 meters. We concluded the trip in Cebu City, where Navi got a new hairstyle on Mother's Day. We returned home on a ferry at sunset. Our flowers were blooming, the grass were turning yellow, and the palm trees remained unchanged. There is progress in construction, and we're taking a break from traveling. The rest will be in the next episode.